Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel Cook to Restore and in today's video I'm going to show you how I turned this dresser into this gorgeous piece. So here I am, hi I'm Jo and I'm visiting the Home Depot to buy some wood for creating a base for this dresser. So let's get to work. I got home, I cut the wood to the size of the base of the dresser and started to sand it down using my Festool sander in 80 grit. Uh, I wanted it to be very smooth before I start to paint uh, on it. So here is the original base that I just hammered and popped out from the base. And my plan was to put this plain simple piece of wood in place of that old wood. So I started with the Gorilla Wood Glue. This is one of my favorite glues and it's amazing. So I just put some glue on both the sides of this dresser. And once the glue was on, I just picked that, uh, put that piece of wood back onto the uh, frame. And then I'm using these one inch uh, nails and I hammered them into uh, the wood and attach this piece onto the base. So now I attached this piece of wood and I got it cut from Home Depot and it was uh, to, uh, according to the size of the base I just glued it back in and used the same nails and hammered them in on all the three sides to just secure it firmly before I went to, and attached the legs, the MCM legs that I bought from Amazon. So the base is done and now Mr. Click to Restore comes to help me to flip it so I can show you how it looked like and this is how the base looks like. So next come the sanding part. I decided to sand all the drawers because I wanted to show the wood off. It was a beautiful wood grain and uh, I decided to sand it and I'm using Festool Sander and 100 grit for this and it's attached to my shop wax. So all the dust get collected and it's a dust free area. Now I am using 220 grit uh, to get a smooth finish before I move on to the next step. So the drawers are ready now. Now comes the painting part. For this, I'm using Mud Paint Seaside, which is a very beautiful aqua blue color. Uh, and I use that to paint the entire body of this dresser. I sanded down this dresser with the 220 grit, wiped it clean with water, and just painted over it. I didn't use any primer. Yes, I didn't use any primer because the addition of Mud Paint is just amazing and one to two coat is enough. Uh, to cover the wood grain. So now comes the designing part. I'm using Dandelion stencils from Redesign with Prima, a painter's tape that I use to secure the uh, stencil on the dresser, chalk paste that in antique sage, again from Redesign with Prima, and a plastic spatula to apply it. So scoop a little bit of uh, the chalk paste and just rub it over the stencil so that the chalk paste uh, takes the design of the stencil and just goes on perfect don't worry it won't smudge because it's pretty thick if you are scared for doing it for the first time and not confident i would suggest you can use a spray adhesive on the stencil so that it just nicely secures on the surface and then you can apply the chalk paste and you can get that from home depot a spray adhesive When you apply the chalk paste, uh, I would suggest at the end just go onto the top and drag the excess of the chalk paste so that you get an even and a finished look. So the chalk paste, uh, each layer, I would say that it takes about 30 minutes to dry. You can use a blow dryer to speed it up. I did the same way. It takes about five minutes with the blow dryer to dry everything and then you can move to the next part and it will be done in no time.
So, so I did the raised stencil on the sides in front of this uh, whole dresser and it turned out gorgeous. For the dress drawers, I used this white wax from Mud Paints and once it was sanded and cleaned, I just applied the white wax onto the drawers uh, generously so that it settles into the wood grain and kind of give it, give it a white washed effect and wiped off the excess with the paper towel and this is the hardware I chose for this because it matches with the drawers and this is how it looked like. Now come the final step of sealing it. I'm using a clear coat in matte from Mud Paint and I sealed the entire dresser once everything was uh, completed and to protect the paint and the chalk paste. I mostly use a flat brush to seal all my pieces. In this I'm using a flat brush from Visal, but you can use any brush or sponge that makes you comfortable. Uh, all the links to the uh, products are in the description below so you can order from there. And um, you can follow me on other social media account on my Instagram and my TikTok where I post what is coming up soon. So here is the finished product. Hope you love it as much as I do. Yes, it was a keeper. It's with me and I absolutely love it. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next Tuesday at 9 a.m. Central. So take care. Bye-bye.